Okay, good morning. We've left the ballast to dry overnight and I've used some washers to do some levelling of the track while it's still soft and not totally hard. But I'm going to show you now the most important test to make sure with small locomotive you don't have any issues. This is the most important test. A spirit level there. And you can see it's dead level. Spirit level here. And you can see it's dead level. Maybe a fraction out. Let's have a little play with this because I'm going to have trouble later if it's not right. There you go, because it was on the other side of the point there and here. That, these are the three most important tests because if your point isn't level, any small loco you have will not run correctly on that point. And even if it does when you first test it, in the future it will not run correctly. And here we have an old terrier, wrong way. And here we have an old terrier with the old style pickups. And you can see snow fluke. that it goes over these points and I can do it time and time and time again but that's the most important test is to make sure the whole point is totally level and now we move on to the curve point and as I've said it is so important that it is dead level, dead dead level. You can see there, I hope, that is level. You can see there that that is level. You can see there that is dead level. That is a fraction out just a fraction there that's dead level so from here which is the length of the loco it's dead level that is within the boundaries of the uh, spirit level but I think I may have problems with that at a later time and I'll show you how to fix it I'm not going to cut the camera off we're going to do it in real time so you can see exactly what you do first of all I'll get myself a small washer a couple of screwdrivers and as I say if I do it in real time then you can see that there's no there's no messing around here I can see that is a little bit out. So what you do is you put the spirit level to the worst position and remember you've got to remember yeah that is a little bit out that these locos one mil is three inches. So what you do is basically just get your washer, you're not gonna see it, so don't worry about that, and you put it under the point at the worst part is easy there you go and you won't even see that and there you go that is dead level all fixed in real time look at that perfect here again dead level and you can't see it it's under the ballast no you can't see that at all not at all and we'll just check that the point actually works. Now you might think, well, why did he do that? The spirit level, it wasn't out of the bubble. 
but you've got to remember with model railways one inch one millimeter is three inches and you can see the point works absolutely fine and we do the final test and you have to realize that so these small locos and you can see that is absolutely lovely so smooth so nice no tipping no moving uh, I think there's a little bit of ballast there you can generally see through experience when it's ballast let me bring this across and you can see that is smooth thank you now as I've so often said, you've got a test, test, test here. Then this is a small 060. Then you can see there's not so much of it as a bump or a grind. And also what you're doing by test, test, testing. is you're clearing out any ballast that's in the way and you can see how slow that is, how slow that is running and I'm running it over the insole frog points and this is a very small loco and you can see there is absolutely nothing wrong with that didn't change it, let's do it again there we go And that's all through having level points. It's not rocket science, it's just having level points. And here's the Wickham trolley, and this is tiny. And this is always a good tester. Smaller than any 040 locomotive, and you can see that is running absolutely fine. Change the point. and you test, test, test and these are all Pico insole frog points it's not rocket science, it's just as I've shown is making sure your points are level and you can see that that runs and I'm going to do it several times for you over the insole frog time and time and time again just making sure your points are level that I believe is 90% of the problems people have yes you're going to get the odd locomotive where there's a problem with the back to backs or the pickups are not correct but that's the fault of the loco not the points thank you for watching